Hi all, welcome to today's session. We have so far discussed about the cloud. In our today's session, let's talk about cloud integration. Let's take an example of a retail domain. Consider there's a sales executive of a mobile company. She sells her mobiles via mobile showrooms that are in different areas in the world, Flipkart and Amazon. User come and buy from any of this. Okay. So now at the end of the day, she needs to know how many mobiles are sold, what is the new requirement, etc. So this is the outside picture, what we all know, right? But internally, there are a lot of systems that have to be managed. So if you see the life cycle one, you'll be able to see like a series of steps. It starts with order, credit check, schedule, fulfill, package, uh, shipment, invoice, and payment, right? And these are managed in different systems. So if you see order entry, so it is where it records a customer's order into a company's order handling system. Then we have credit control. So it is a process that sells goods by providing credit to the customers, like say uh, cash discounts, payment terms, etc. Then we have production planning. So it is a process in manufacturing that ensures uh, you have sufficient raw materials, labor, resources, etc. for producing goods. Then CAM system, which is computer aided manufacturing system. So it is the use of a software and computer controlled machinery to automate a manufacturing process. Right. So then we have inventory system. So inventory management system is a process by which you track your goods throughout your supply chain from purchasing or to production to end sales. Then we have distributed order management. So it is a method used to optimize fulfillment. So orders arrive to customers on time. So then we have billing. It is defined as a step-by-step -step process of uh, requesting payment from customers by issuing them the invoices okay so then a general ledger is the record keeping system for a company's financial data uh, with debits and credit account records validated by a trial balance so for the order to be delivered successfully so many systems have to be integrated and updated timely and that is where the integration comes into picture okay also with digitalization um, as everything now have been digitalized right so organizations are making use of these digital technologies in order to change the way they operate and also in order to get new insights so these insights help them to understand on how to cut down the cost and on how to increase the revenues right and digital transformation works in hybrid environment so which is built on top of on-premise applications, which are behind the firewall and on multiple clouds, like say Salesforce, NetSuite, et cetera. Yeah. And if you look at any organization, we have front office with sales, marketing, service, and back office with finance, procurement, HR, supply chain, and uh, some kind of business operations, which produces uh, products or services. So digitalization or digital transformation of the organization is happening in a number of ways. So first of all, mobile. As most of the customers are having mobile phones and also these transaction processing systems like say Paytm, PhonePay, net banking, having the ability of mobile interface, most of the transactions are happening via mobile. So most of the business is happening via mobile, right? Second is social. With the social networks and social accounts that organizations have these days, it is easy for them to gain access to the front office and back office people and also collaborate uh, if they like with the customers, suppliers and partners. Right? Then third is cloud. As we see more and more applications moving to the cloud, the business applications could be easily accessed and could be integrated from anywhere. 
right? Then fourth is B two B process integration, which is business to business process integration where communication takes place between two or more organization, and also B two C, which is business to customer. Where uh, customers can electronically arrive into our application and can do the purchase. Uh, say for example, Mintra. So it does B two B transactions with Flipkart because Mintra sells products to Flipkart, right? So it does B two B integration with Flipkart, and also Mintra has a site by itself. So customers can directly enter into the site and can do the purchase. So it does B two B transactions with the customer. Clear? Yeah? Then. Also, the emergence of Internet of Things. Um, as there are smart products with sensors built into them, these sensors help them to get the data that can be captured and can be later analyzed. Here, yeah. then, if you go to the previous example again and have a look at the operational uh, systems for a moment, the business processes have to work across multiple applications, which are in the cloud. And on premise behind the firewall, right? Say your front office may be Salesforce and a back office is Netsphere, which is a different cloud, right? So even then, the processes have to be able to work smoothly between the cloud and the on premise applications with data moving in and out. So what therefore required here is application integration to work in a hybrid environment of multiple clouds. So what makes this possible is integration platform as a service. Clear? Similarly, we want the customers to come into our application, whether they are on cloud or on premise or both, and make the transaction. So the transaction is initiated from a customer or a partner on the cloud itself, and then comes to our cloud or on premise system. Right? So it is not only about having process and application integration within the enterprise, but also we want the ability to publish APIs because uh, using APIs only, right? We can integrate with other applications. So we want the ability to publish APIs and manage them in such a way that we can govern on who is accessing them and provide controlled access to them. Yeah. Also, if we see the marketing technology landscape. You can see the increase in the number of technologies or number of applications, and many organizations are adopting or migrating to the best suitable applications which meets their business needs. So there is always a demand for uh, adding new applications or for migrating new applications, which is therefore done by a integration platform as a service. Clear. So in our later sessions, we'll discuss in detail about IPaaS, API, B two B transactions, and Internet of Things, etc. That's all for the end of the day. Thank you.